Now earlier we worked together to create a coloring book page out, out of a photo and we had our photo here of our bouquet and there's our coloring book page using the photocopy filter. Um, but this time I'm going to work on uh, creating a color sketch of that uh, flowered image. So I'm going to drag this again down here to the post-it note and create another copy and I'm going to turn this one off so I can actually see that I now have the background copy too and I'm going to add a color sketch filter to this. So again I'm going to go up to my filter gallery. Now I could go up here and I could start applying these settings and see which one I think works best. Uh, obviously that that's not going to look good. I actually want it to look like a color sketch so I'd probably have to come up here and choose uh, maybe an artistic effect and uh, drag out one of these guys and see what happens. Um, but the point is, is again, I want more control. I want to have control over what that looks like. So again, I'm going to go to the filter gallery. So let's go to the filter menu here and choose filter gallery. And then from here, I'm going to choose the artistic effect and find colored pencil. Maybe do uh, try different one of these effects to see which one looks better. Maybe this underpainting here uh, kind of looks interesting. But again, the point is, is I can change the settings here to, to alter the effect so it gets exactly what I'm looking for. And I think colored pencil might work. Maybe I want a brush stroke of some type here. I can do cross hatches. So that might be something that I'm looking for. Uh, I could do sprayed strokes. So that it looks more like it's a, somebody's kind of uh, using a sprayer. I could use a splatter effect here. So it even goes even a step further. Again, the spray radius, I can increase or decrease the value here and it gives me a different effect. So if I decrease this, and then I can increase the smoothness, for example. I'm getting more to the original again. So you got to be careful of that. I'm going to decrease the smoothness, increase the radius on that. But uh, colored pencil here is probably a good one. So it looks like I drew this with a colored pencil a little bit. Uh, not so much. I've got a lot of gray there. But I can change the, the pencil width. Okay, so I can increase that. I can do the stroke pressure. Go left or right. Move those around and then I can do the paper brightness so I can darken that if I wanted to or lighten it up and I'll just go right about there again the point is is I am working to add the sketch effect now it is possible to overlap uh, effects one on top of the other that's why you've got a whole bunch here so I could add a new effect down here by clicking the post-it note and then I can add a cutout effect to that and now I've got colored pencil and cut out at the same time. Again, visibility icon so I can see the difference. So the filter gallery gives you some really neat effects. I don't know if that's really going to be good, but uh, let's see here. Number of levels. Increase the number of levels here. Maybe they'll give me more color. Edge simplicity. Let's change that. There we go. And then the fidelity. And I just added uh, a couple. I don't like that cutout effect, so I'm going to trash it here by hitting the trash can. And there we go. But uh, now it looks like a sketch that we drew instead of um, something that was there all along um, <clears throat> as a picture, as a photograph. So it looks like something that might have been drawn as opposed to a photograph. So again, it's just a different effect. Um, so creating a color sketch out of a color photo and, of course, creating a coloring page out of a photo.